the heart of the project is really about providing the best possible care for our frail elderly living in long-term care facilities. We know that caring for the elders can be complex and their medication needs differ from their younger counterparts. This is clearly a case where less is more. It's quite clear from studies that it's safe to stop some medications in the frail elderly and in fact that stopping certain medications can lead to an improved quality of life. Polypharmacy is the administration of more medications than are indicated. As we age, we tend to accumulate chronic illnesses and as a result accumulate more and more medications. There's been a growing concern amongst health care providers about the number of medications that we administer to our frail elders. This medication load has increased through the decades as a direct result of practice guidelines for chronic illnesses. Unfortunately, when we become old and frail, we can have huge drug loads. The list of side effects that can affect us adversely with uh, too many medications is quite long. And for the frail elderly, it includes things like falls from low blood pressure or low sugar, uh, sedation, nausea, loss of appetite, constipation, etc. It becomes very important to ensure that the frail elderly are taking only the medications that will benefit them and improve their quality of life. Often, medications that we've taken for a number of years have given us all the benefit they're going to and that discontinuing that medication is not going to stop that benefit, that that will persist. With all medications, there is a risk-benefit ratio because there's always a potential for side effects. As we age, that risk-benefit ratio changes. As we get very old, we become frail. And when we're frail, we're more vulnerable to the side effects of medication. So as people age, the risk rises and the benefit falls. And often the risks can outweigh the benefits of medication for the frail elderly. Therefore, it's really important to ensure that the benefit is there and that the risk is not too great. This is what our guidelines target. Studies have shown that medications can be removed in the frail elderly without causing harm. In fact, some of the studies show that removing medications improves quality of life. The goal of what we're trying to accomplish with the polypharmacy.ca and toolkit is to improve the quality of life and improve the quality of care for our frail elders living in long-term care. This initiative is not motivated by money. The initiative is motivated by improving the quality of care we provide our seniors living in long-term care facilities. So we'd like to be able to provide the right treatment at the right time for our loved ones. Well, in Nova Scotia, um, many individuals and organizations came together to, to create and produce an evidence-informed toolkit. And this toolkit was put in place to help assist your health prescribers to um, care for the frail elders. So this toolkit is both electronic form polypharmacy.ca as well as it's a paper-based toolkit. Now this toolkit will um, initially be circulated to all the long-term care facilities and nursing homes within Nova Scotia. This toolkit will be there to help all healthcare staff as well as your uh, physician, nurse practitioner, prescribers, so that they can improve the care provided to the frail elders. I've been a family doctor in Nova Scotia for over 40 years. When I started my practice in the early 1970s, I never wrote 15 prescriptions for one frail elder, but this began to happen on a routine basis as the years passed. It came about because of clinical practice guidelines that guided our care for chronic illnesses. But as we age, we accumulate chronic illnesses, and as a consequence, we accumulate medications as well. Now, when we're younger, we may well benefit from those medications, and the risks may be small. But as we age, that risk-benefit ratio can change very significantly with the risk rising and the benefits falling. 
The reason for that is that as we age, we become frail and are more vulnerable to the adverse effects of drugs. Consequently, that risk may rise to the point where it outweighs any potential benefits, either in the immediate or long-term future, for a frail elder. Therefore, we developed this project to try and be certain that the medications we were prescribing for the frail were appropriate to their station in life. 